special uh, Pinocchio piggy bank. I did go to the Goodwill and I got this very fetching uh, out of the women's section because I don't believe they actually make Christmas sweaters for, for men. Um, $2.99 and uh, we're listening to some uh, Christmas records we got at the thrift store today. Um, 49 cents at the Nifty Thrifty. Um, I actually thought it was going to be these gals doing some vocals but it's some uh, another uh, uh, play out uh, instrumental. And then later on that is the um, Osmonds Christmas album. We'll get into that later on because it never snows in LA. Um, and then you know we've been we've been scouring the thrift stores and antique malls down here for um, cocktail books. We did find the uh, the, the uh, Mr. Boston's guide. We found two of them in the one day. And um, today we found cocktails made easy um, by Simon Differ. Um, the Differ guy. The Differ guy. Simon is a guy. The different guide is a very, very um, rich um, online um, source for making cocktails. Pretty cool that Rail um, found this book, and I think it was like 99 cents or something. Um, but it is uh, fully illustrated. Um, it even gives you some, some basics for setting up your bar. And all of these glasses, which, you know, nice to have, not necessarily um, not necessarily important. Though it is, it is important to remember to you know keep it special at home. Um, not make everything so uh, routine as we're still going to be kind of uh, you know uh, stuck at home um, for the next four or five or six months. Um, you know, try to make um, the everyday experience a little bit more special, um, so you don't have to take everything for granted. You know, we started drinking wine out of uh, stem glasses. We have the small one for the white wine, the big one for the red wine. Um, if you're drinking beer at home, um, get yourself a Pilsner glass. Just kind of try to. Try to make it special. Um, so um, Troy Lovejoy wanted, um, he asked a couple of months ago for a gin drink. God, there's just so many gin drinks. It's like, where do I start? Um, he asked for uh, something to do with uh, with coffee. And since it's not the morning, and the coffee drinks, kind of like this one, are just kind of like a uh, like a one and done deal. Um, but he did ask for an eggnog recipe. And we did have... Um, we ended up, once I started to go through all of our, our cocktail books, we ended up having um, two, two, uh, two versions of this book. Um, and uh, the one of them is like the 1941, one is the 19, uh, one's the 1946, one's like a 1951. This is the uh, later version, which actually has another um, intro um, from uh, James Beard. And the one that we have at home had, had a whole bunch of clippings and, uh, and recipes. And one of the recipes that was in there was for a uh, Four Roses, Four Roses bourbon, um, eggnog, which is interesting that they had Four Roses uh, bourbon back in the 50s. I wouldn't have known. I wasn't uh, born then. So um, I looked in that book for an eggnog recipe. I looked in the uh, Mr. Boston's book. And then I looked in the, uh, in the different guide, and he has a, uh, a recipe for an eggnog where you're not making a whole big vat of eggnog. Um, and you can do eggnog with the uh, uh, rum that we're going to do tonight, or uh, you could use bourbon, or uh, cognac. I thought I thought I brought a, I thought we had a, a bottle of uh, cognac uh, down here, but I guess I didn't didn't bring one. Um, so we got the uh, Don Q rum. This is for our uh, brothers and sisters in uh, in Puerto Rico. Um, some some years ago, um, uh, a fucking cat is getting in the puzzle box. Jesus Christ. Um, a couple of years ago, um, Jimmy Velez from uh, Puerto Rico actually sent me a bottle of, uh, of uh, Don Q um, um, rum. And uh, we just got, I know, these little airplane bottles of spice rum, because we don't, I don't really have a really a use for um, spice rum. I do have uh, some at home that we use for certain things, but um, actually the one really nice one we got from uh, Stephen Hall is at the uh, Bombat uh, Comedy Borders. Uh, Stash. The pomp and circumstance, I just love the symbolism of Christmas. Not, I was not born religious, I don't, it means absolutely nothing to me. It's like playing cricket. I don't 
Um, no, nothing. Um, so, um, Troy Lovejoy, Eggnog Recipe, that one in here in the, in the Difference Guide that's just kind of like, just like mix up a cocktail. Um, so, we're going to split up the, um, the white rum with the spiced rum. And uh, this one calls for a simple syrup, but a rich, simple syrup. And in the, uh, I've seen a couple, because uh, I did actually look it up once I saw, saw that being uh, bandied about. Um, so this is a, this simple syrup is two parts sugar up to one part water. Um, and it's going to have uh, two eggs, which I've already, um, I've already beat. And I've, I've tasted, <laughs> I've tasted prepared eggnog totally different than if you're making eggnog from scratch. Uh, my mom's husband, Fred, used to do this for Christmas Eve. He'd make a, uh, a big uh, punch bowl um, full of eggnog. Um, my punch bowl might even still be up there. Um, he doesn't do that anymore. But uh, Ray and I didn't need a whole, whole punch bowl. But you because it's, it's kind of like the heart attack in a uh, heart attack in a cocktail glass. So I've got the two eggs. I already have them beat up. <clears throat> and then... Um, we just bought the house brand of uh, uh, heavy cream down there at the, uh, um, uh, what do they call it now? Uh, the sport food center, HFC. HGC. HGC. And uh, whole milk, because that's just what it's supposed to have. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try this out. Never, cat. Whenever Rio's doing the puzzle down here, the cat is just like all over the puzzle. And just, putting the pieces in her mouth, knocking them on the floor. I don't know why, it's her thing. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, see. There is another version here, the different guy that's for a, uh, uh, a warm, um, a, a warm egg guy. All right, okay, so here we go. So once again, splitting up little airplane bottles of uh, rum. So I'm making this for two. So this is gonna have five ounces of rum. Close to it right there. And I, I did pull out the Frangelico. I thought maybe Frangelico would be good in a uh, eggnog as well. There's our five ounces of rum. Let's do our one ounce of cream. One ounce of our simple syrup. I think the one the that's that Zira made for us last weekend, I think was that an America's Test Kitchen recipe. And that one didn't call for heavy cream, I think it just was mostly milk. It was, it was a little bit lighter, lighter version. So that's our one ounce of a simple syrup and uh, four Here is a nutmeg to dust it with, which is quite unfortunate. And like I said, I already did these eggs up. I thought that's going to probably be a better idea. And you know, not everybody is uh, is okay with consuming raw eggs. Me, I'm not really too 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 worried about it. Um, uh, raw chicken or chicken raw chicken juice, that's going to be a problem. This is going to be okay. So we the same though, because it's kind of full. This is going to make more. It's going to fit in those glasses, so I'm going to put it in here. I was watching the Mr. Hanky uh, Christmas special. Listening to this whimsical, whimsical Christmas music. We're watching uh, 
uh, uh, uh, early 1950s before they made the movie Miracle on 34th Street. Um, it's got the one actor, I don't know his name, he was in the uh, bunch of other stuff back then. Let's see how this is going to taste. Nice. Hey, hey, Jesus. Pretty, it's pretty boozy, actually. Um, that's nice, I like that. Beautiful. Well, thank you very much from the Wicker Bar. If you haven't already had, taken it, taken the uh, moment, you know, I can't afford, you know, such high quality duds like these without you supporting me and sending me your money. Cash in the mail, that's cool. Um, PayPal. Um, checks for money orders, a little bit iffy these days. A lot of uh, problem with the uh, money orders. I can do a bank check though, it's, it's cool by me and uh, um, Gold Krugerrands as well. Just just the little teeny ones, the ones that are only worth like five or nine thousand dollars. Um, thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, uh, hit like, subscribe, and this is this evening we made for Troy Lovejoy. Troy, one day you're gonna make it out. You haven't been out to the house for a while. You keep threatening, you know, come out for for a jam. Um, I will say that um, last year, Christmas before last. Um, Troy Lovejoy bestowed upon us, our band, a large bag of uh, marijuana. For, it's for uh, medicinal purposes. And um, the person we had jump, drumming for us at that point in time took out, because this is a, something that he had done, you know, kind of at home on the slide. And the person we had drumming for us at that point in time, they took out all the good pieces out of the bag of marijuana. We call those buds or little nugs. And left us with all the duff. Um, Cool man, getting cold in your stocking this year. And last year too. Okay, thank you very much. From the Wicker Bar, I'm the host of your show, Lord Zippy Delaney, the Duke of the Motherfucking Delridge, right here on the beautiful shores. It's kind of clouding up, getting a little fog there of, of Hood Canal. Drinking this tasty eggnog. Thank you, Troy Lovejoy, for the inspiration. And I'm glad uh, that Rail found the uh, the different guy there at the Nifty Thrifty in Shelton on Railroad Avenue. Stop by whenever you're in Shelton. Okay, goodbye.